Hello my dear kids. Today we are going to start our new chapter that is basic geometry. Okay. So before starting this chapter, first of all we are going to learn some terms. So our first term is point. What is a point? Point has no dimension. It has no length, no breadth, no height. So this is a point. The real life example of point is this. Yes, when we locate our location on Google map, you can see there is a kind of point of red color is made up and to show that this is your location. So you are well aware of what is a point. Or we can say this pencil tip is also point. The next example you can see this. Yes, the pencil tip is the point. And if I open this marker, so I got this, the tip of this marker is will be the point. Okay? Line. So my dear kids, what is a line? Line is which can be extended from both ends. Just take one example like this. Yes. The road is the real life example of line. You can see the highway can be extended from both ends. We can go from here as well as from there. We can go from both ends of the highway. So the highway is the real life example of line. Means if we can take B here also and from A there also. It can be extended from both ends. What are the qualities of line? So, it has no end points. You can see that it is not having any end point because we can extend from A as well as from B. Second, it can be extended from both ends. Yes, it can be extended हम इधर भी जा सकते हैं और इधर भी from both ends we can extend the line. Now the question arises that how can we write the name of this line? So we can write like this. Like it is A, B, yes or B, A. How can we understand this? So there is a symbol always we make like this. If we are writing the name of a line, we write like this. With this symbol above them AB. And if we are writing BA also because BA is also a line. So we will make symbol of the line. It is the symbol of line. And my dear kids, how we call this? How do we say the name what we have written. We will call it line AB. And we can say it is OR. We can say line BA. So the name of this line is line AB or line BA. So these arrows are made here to show that we can extend this from that side as well as from this side. Okay, our next topic is line segment. So, first of all, you must understand what is the meaning of segment. Segment means part. Segment means piece of anything. Kaat kar alag nikal ke rakha gaya is called segment. So, as the name suggests, line segment already describing itself that line ka chota sa tukda. Line ka segment. So as you can see that this AB is cut down from this line AB and we have taken it here. So this is the line segment AB. So what is the specification of this line segment? Line segment has two end points. Jiske dono do end point hote hain. You can see A and B. 
they are the end points of this line segment second it can not be extended you can see that it cannot be extended from any point because it has the end point it finishes at point a and point b third it has a fixed length yes it has a fixed length as my dear kids you know we can measure ab with our scale because it has the end points so it has a fixed length so real life example is this yes when we cut the thread it is the line segment we got you can see we can measure these properly so these are the line segments the question arises how can we write the name of this line segment so as you know what are the end points of this shape a b are the end points so we'll write a b or b a they both are line segments but my dear kids we should understand the difference between the naming of line and line segment you can see this line also has the name ab or ba but the symbol of line is this with both ends arrow dono side arrow show ho rahe hain but here we have to show like this so this is the symbol of line segment so this is line segment ab or line segment ba so these are the difference between naming of a line and a line segment in line we draw arrows also but in line segment we do not draw arrows our next term is ray so what is a ray just now we have done line line segment now we are doing ray ray is a geometric shape which has one end point jiska ek end point hai and from the second point it can be extended so it can be extended on other side so the real life example first of all i want to show of ray is this yes the sunlight rays you have seen and you have listened about this word from there also when the sun gives light to the earth it spread like rays so the end point is sun itself and the rays coming down to the earth it is extended to that side so the sun rays is the real example of a ray second example on real life of the ray is this yes the torch light is also the real life example of ray when the torch turned on it gives light to the room or anywhere else and the ray rays coming out from the torch is the example of rays now the question arises how to write this ray how can we write ray so we can write this is ray ab to start from the end point while we are writing the name of ray so the end point is a and it is going towards b so we'll write ray ab but we have to write the symbol and the symbol of ray is this this is the symbol of ray you can see this a is the end point and it coming to the b ab ab so we can say ray ab is the line name of this ray and how can we write this because this is the end point we will write p first and it is going towards q we will write q here and because we have to write the symbol of ray so this is the symbol of ray so we can say ray pq is the name of this ray